All right, welcome to Biblical Archaeology. Uh, in this video, I want to just kind of introduce just really quickly uh, the next couple of videos that I'm going to put on here. Um, these are actually uh, some excerpts from one of our master's classes, right, that deals um, with a subject that we're going to be dealing with in this class. Uh, so I wanted to include these so that you can kind of see that discussion. Um, and so the discussion is on the city of Sodom. Right. So earlier in this class, I gave you some uh, discussion uh, on the location of Sodom and where a lot of scholars believe that these cities to be. Uh, and just in terms of keeping current, right, there is a lot of uh, kind of newer information that gives another perspective, right, that, uh, that I think is important for you to know. Um, in all honesty, now I'm leaning more towards this perspective after I've seen um, all of the research and things. This is, in fact, these are actually some current digs that are even going on now. They haven't excavated everything. Um, but it is kind of an interesting thought that the location from which Abraham, if this is the general area of the promised land, this is the Dead Sea here, this circle here, the Dead Sea, uh, and then the Jordan River coming up this way, that Abraham and Lot were up here. And the Bible says that when they parted ways, they were on this mountain, this area here, and they were looking out on the place that, that Lot was going to go, which was Sodom. Which means it has to be within eyesight of this region here, all the way across the Dead Sea and some of these southern areas, although they have some interesting things to them. Uh, clearly somebody lived there. They're excavations of some city. In many ways it seems like they're almost excluded from being Sodom and Gomorrah when you think about the actual geographic detail that they have to be within eyesight of Bethel and Ai. Uh, and so this new site, El Hammam, uh, holds a lot of promise for being the actual site of Sodom and Gomorrah and there's a lot of interesting things then that um, kind of come out of that uh, that thought. So I gave you some of the information, um, uh, and that was it was actually a class that I had taught uh, a while back um, that had been the prevailing thought um, for a you know the last you know five ten years or so on Sodom and Gomorrah uh, were some southern excavation sites, but then now the the thought has kind of shifted, uh, and it makes a lot more sense to me. Um, this new direction and some of these new discoveries really fit the biblical description uh, perfectly. So in my mind, um, if, I was, if, if I was to be asked now, right, a few years later from when I first taught some of these archaeology classes, where I think Sodom and Gomorrah is, I would definitely say El Hammam is what I think. So um, I left the earlier discussions on there uh, in previous weeks from when I first taught this class. Um, because it is, it is a perspective that's out there, but I also want to balance that um, with kind of the newer perspective um, with some new archaeological uh, discoveries that I think are, are pretty interesting.